Hurricane Dorian continues to threaten the United States. This is video from yesterday, Tuesday, from the International Space Station. Today is Wednesday, September 4th, 2019. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals. We look back first at Dorian. In the last three days, this satellite ends overnight, last night. And what it clearly shows you is the system was steadily moving westward. And then once it reached the northern Bahamas, it slowed down for basically a day and a half as a powerful, intense Category 5 hurricane. Now it is steadily moving toward the northwest. You can see that on radar. The radar doesn't look very bright because the storm is pretty far from land, so the radar can't see the detail and the full intensity. It also doesn't capture the full right side of the storm. This computer model, this is a projection going from today through tomorrow, Thursday through Friday, showing it likely staying offshore of Florida and Georgia, but potentially making landfall in South Carolina and North Carolina. By that point, a less intense, a less strong hurricane, but a hurricane nonetheless, a rainmaker, a system that will create storm surge as it moves up the coast and then exits the Carolinas before going into the weekend. And then it heads toward eastern Canada. Now, look at some of the threats of storm surge. In the brightest color, the bright pink, that's a storm surge warning for the east coast of Florida up to North Carolina. And then a storm surge watch for North Carolina. Run from the water, hide from the wind, evacuate if you're told to do so. When you look at the bigger picture, Dorian is not the only system. In fact, from the eastern Pacific to the eastern Atlantic, first of all, in the eastern Pacific, that's Hurricane Juliet. But in the Atlantic, you have Fernan, which will make landfall in Mexico as a tropical storm today. The eastern Atlantic is Gabrielle, a tropical storm. And then near Bermuda, there's also a tropical disturbance. This, though, is going to be the other issue with Dorian. Rain that could be over a foot along the Carolina coastlines. So you have storm surge flooding threat there, and you have the threat of flash flooding. The Carolinas have got to be on guard. You've got to keep up with what Dorian is doing. Listen to your trusted local forecasts, and you can always get detailed information wherever you are from weather.gov. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals.